Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tip video, I'm gonna show you how to identify and treat aphids. So I just shook this little tomato plant and that's one thing you wanna do is give the plant a shake, knock off all the aphids. You can see the little green soft body insects walking around. You can also do that with a hose, wash them down. They're kind of weak insects, so it takes a lot of effort for them to get back on there. But once you spray them down, knock the aphids off, you can also see all these little white specks. It's from when they molt and grow and shed their skin, basically. That's how you know you have aphids on your tomato plants or other plants. So once you wash them off, knock them down, you want to spray this simply with soapy water spray. One gallon of water, one tablespoon of the Castile type soaps, the very uh, basic soaps with no ingredients. If you're gonna use something like a detergent, you use one or two teaspoons. You're hitting this with a soapy water spray, dehydrates them, kills them off. Here's another example. And you can see the aphids by my fingers. Now, this is in the greenhouse at Freetown Farm. So there's no natural predators around here, so we'll be releasing some ladybugs in here. When your plants are small like this, if you wanna get a basic um, insect spray, you could spray them down, kill them off. Spraying's pretty straightforward. This is just a one gallon sprayer from Home Depot, any basic sprayer. So again, recipe is really important. One gallon of water, one tablespoon of the Castile type, or one or two teaspoons of the detergent type soaps. You can use either one. Now, if you want to kind of double your chances for success, one to two teaspoons of peppermint oil. I do sell that at my seed shop. Peppermint oil is great at really irritating the soft-bodied and small insects like spider mites and aphids. So it helps kind of just irritate them, they stay away. You don't need the peppermint oil if you don't want to use that. Spray is simple. You know, knock them off again with the hose and then just really soak the plant down. Do that every three days, three or four cycles. That should get the aphids under control. You can see them all on the stem. And maybe you spray every three days for three or four rotations over a 12-day period. That will get them under control. And just remember, it's really key. If you're using detergent-type soaps, you use less. One teaspoon, two teaspoons. If you're using the pure soaps, um, like the Castile types, you can use one table, yeah, one tablespoon per gallon of water. Soak them. Just soak down the stems, the undersides of the leaves. That will take care of your aphid problem. So what the aphids will do is they'll just gonna take the sap out of the stems and it's gonna affect the progression of the leaf growth. I don't know if you can see the one right in front of my thumb, but that one's red. They can be green, they can be different colors. Their colors change a lot of times based on what sap they're taking out of a plant. But again, weak bodied, soft bodied I should say, that makes them kind of weak, that the soapy water spray is really, really effective.